Boy, you know, I wrote down all these notes. I, sometimes I, I'm going through this new phase, right? I just, if, I, if I'm speaking last, I'm just going to write notes based on what other people say. And then I get up there and I don't end up looking at the notes. So I just figured that's the way. But I, I, you know how that, there's a show or a movie that, that shows two different views from different angles of, you know, an event or a meeting or something took place. So you heard Tom's view of the first day that he met us. So can I give him my view now? <laughs> okay. So I said, Somebody called me and said, Dan, there's these, there's these dudes behind them, in the conference behind the main reception. They're from Texas. They really want to talk to you. Well, who are they? I don't, I don't know. Some real tall guy with gray hair and some other guys, but they're from Texas. They want to do stuff with you. So, okay, sure. You know, whatever. So, put down my newspaper, you know, and put down all my video games that I was playing. I know. No, and I walk, I walk back there and we sit down. And basically, the gist of the story was, yeah, hi, I'm Tom. I'm from Texas. And we want to come here and build watches, and we don't want a damn thing from you. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> okay, you don't have to have anything. It's good. <laughs> we don't want anything from the city. We don't want anything from the state. We don't want anything from the federal government. We're going to come here, build jobs, do good shit. And I said, what's it going to call it? And he said, Shinola. And I just thought that was pretty cool, Shinola. And so we got to know Tom and his team, and they were, um, they were impressive from day one. I will tell you that, and you can feel it really in this building, this hotel, uh, you know, it's, he has a soul and he has a noble purpose and you know, a lot of people think that all business people are in, in it for the buck and the dollar and the spreadsheet and all that. My experience has been that's not nearly the case for most people and especially here for Tom, I mean, well, you can tell, you know, he's a, I mean, you got that, you know, you got that look, you know what I'm saying? We can never pull off that look. None of us. It's a great look. So, but it's true. He has a, he, he lights up the room. He's, it's a weird. He's a, he, it's a weird thing because, he, you know, he just lights up the room in his own way that nobody else can. And he motivates people, and he gets people going at, at Chinola itself, um, and he gets people going to the hotel here. And he says to walk by, and he just, you know, it's 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 like magic. And that's what we're doing here. We're gonna we're gonna do some magic, and because that's really what it is. When you hit, when you build a building and a place like this that's got, you know, all the art and all the history and it's got the future all sort of like right in the middle of it. And you can pull guys like Elliot out of the DIA, you know, on his contract. And you were an unrestricted free agent at the time, I think, right? <laughs> they didn't violate anything. So you bring him back home. I mean, he was, he was home here at the DIA, but bring him back home to the hotel business. And of course, to bring in, and I don't even know, let me tell you something, this thing's about James Beard and Michelini, is it Michelini? Michelini? You know, wait, I mean, backstage he says to me, he goes, you know, I'm just a chef, I just make simple things. And I get up here and get introduced to, you know, these things, I, I don't know myself, but they sound damn good, man. I mean, and the food was excellent. I, I, I ate there with my wife and a few other people, and it was, and I'm not a food guy at all, but I can tell you something, it was just outstanding. And we saw what Elliot did at the DIA and what he's going to do here. And people here, even the people that during the last week, they're the people working. Waiters, waitresses, ballet, all the, all the folks, all they want to do is, is make it great and, and make the people that come here feel great. And let me tell you how important a hotel is because some people said, well, it's just a hotel. And I said, well, here's the deal. A hotel in a city is huge because those are the people, most of them who are staying there aren't from here, right? They're not from Detroit. And most of the time they're going to be in Detroit is going to be in the hotel. So... They may say things about the city they were at and all that, but the vast majority of the time working on their conscious and subconscious is this hotel. And there's something about this place, as Dan Mullen mentioned. I mean, the, the living room, you know, you're in the living room. Probably the most amount of people will ever be in the living rooms right now. But, but I'm sure they'll be busy, but there's a lot of people. And then we have all these cameras. But, but I, I will tell you that people are going to get together here, you just feel it, and it's, it's something that Detroit hasn't had, at least not in my lifetime, or probably most of our lifetimes, and I think it's just going to be a, a place that is going to, you know, be conducive to a lot of good things, a lot of happy things, and we're going to continue to create jobs, continue to create great things, and if, if, any, if nobody here believes that, you know, you, you don't think of things and believe things first before they happen, let this be an example for you, because guy from Texas walks into a room, and then a few years later there's a bunch of watches, and I mean a bunch, a lot of watches coming off a line that's employing a lot of great Detroiters, and then there's a hotel, I don't know what you're going to have next, you know.
sure something crazy, uh, but it sounds crazy at the time, and when, when it's here, it's not so crazy. So, um, and I, I just can't thank all of you enough. Can't thank um, Dan Mullen, Andrew Lieber, Lieber, or Lieber, it's Lieber. We have a Lieber and we have a Luber, then we took an Uber. <laughs> so I get all confused, okay? Um, and, you know, all the people have been involved. I start naming people, I'll start getting other people upset, so I just want to thank every single person who worked on both from the Bedrock side, the Shinola side, the construction side, the employment side, every, everything, the city. So um, thank you all. This is another, it's another big, huge step in the journey that um, sees Detroit become the kind of city it was destined to become. So thank you all. Thank you.